Okay, I just want to give a quick tutorial on how to use Google Docs if we're submitting work. Um, so the same level of kind of line by line reasoning would have to apply here. So let's say for instance, um, you were given a problem on your classwork of f of x equals three radical x and you had to find f prime. Okay, so it gets kind of tough to actually see that work and organize your work unless you really have a good understanding of how to use this technology. So um, the very first thing you need to know is that you're going to insert an equation. All right, once you've inserted an equation, you should see a little box show up and everything that's in there is gonna kind of be like mathematical operations. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to use is this math operations tab right here. This should show up once you insert an equation. If you hit that drop down menu, you're gonna see a lot of options. We're gonna be using square roots, radicals with a different root, and then exponents here. All right, occasionally some fractions. So the very first thing I'm going to need to use um, before I even insert that is f of x equals a regular three and now I'm going to go back there and use my radical sign and type an x. Done. Hit enter to skip on to the next line. Go back to insert equation to type in a new one. Now let's see what this would be off to the side real quick. So on this one before I even um, get to my f prime of x let's rewrite this as three x to the one half. Okay. Um, knowing that that's a one on the inside and a two on the outside. Um, so if I needed to now type this up, this is still fx equals, we still have a coefficient of three, we can just type in a regular three. Still have an x, but now I have an exponent. So we have to go back to our math operations. x to the b means this is going to insert an exponent. And now I need to hit my right arrow key on my keyboard to actually go to that. Now I can type in one divided by two. Hit enter, it'll drop back down. Or if you're up there and you use your right arrow key again, it'll drop you back down. So that whatever you type in next would be regular. Hit enter to make another space. And then once again, we can go to insert equation. Now we can actually take our derivative. So we can call this f prime or f apostrophe x equals. And now we can go back to our work over on the side where we drop down using the power rule, one half times three x, and if I subtract one here, that's gonna give me a negative one half. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to write that entire thing in there. Um, one thing that I make combine right away is I just make that a three over two, three times one half. So um, I need to make a fraction three over two. So I'm gonna go back to my math operations, pick fraction, the three, that's gonna be in the numerator, hit my right arrow again, my right arrow key is like really nice for kind of moving around here. Over to hit my right arrow key again. And now I should be able to just type in a regular X. Yep. And now I need an exponent. So I'm going to go back up to my exponent right there. Hit my right arrow key again. Type in negative one divided by two. Hit my right arrow key again to drop that down. And now I can keep moving on. Insert equation at prime X equals and now we would actually be looking for kind of converting this. So just remember that um, a negative goes on the denominator. So we're going to keep that three over two out front. So fraction three, right arrow two, right arrow. And now we're going to have to make that one over x to the one half. So I need another fraction. Let's put a time sign in between. One over x. And that actually needs an exponent as well. Use my right arrow key again, one half power. And my right arrow key will kind of navigate me out of there. So just really using the math operations in my right arrow key, left arrow key to kind of navigate through there. Um, so finishing up this, we're going to have f prime x equals. And we know that in the denominator, um, we see a one half. So we're going to convert that back into a square root. So we're going to have 3 over 2. Oops, sorry, I need my fraction. 3 right arrow two times another fraction. One right arrow, need my radical, go back up here, radical two. Right arrow, hit enter, drop it down. Insert equation, f prime x equals, now I can put this all together. And we're gonna make one final equation, one final fraction, where we put this all together. The three is on top. And we're going to have a two radical two on bottom. Oh goodness, what did I forget? It was right here. This isn't supposed to be a two. That was supposed to be an x, two radical x.
and we're done. That's our, our derivative formula.